All right, so we we saw this show first on uh, when we did our judging anime by its cover, which and we're we gonna judged do. It. We're you gonna go. do it again soon. Yep. Now we've watched some of I it. I watched one or two episodes. I don't remember. I watched one and a half episodes. I saw all I need to see. Right. So what the show is is basically uh, what I thought it was gonna be was like a sports anime where the characters happen to be girls, but they're horse girls, not. Not like centaurs, but they're like cat girls, but they have horse ears and horse tails. Now, already I feel like that was a lost opportunity. I was actually kind of disappointed that they were just girls with horse ears. Anyway, uh, and they participate in horse races, like Kentucky Derby, only Japan, right? Yep. They, whatever their horse racing equivalent is. Uh, and they, all, they go to school for horse racing. And that sort of thing. So I thought it was going to be like a sports anime. Like, like I really Like Yoa Pedal or Haikyuu. Or I felt it was going to, like, I really felt 11. it was going to follow the battle athletes template. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a sports anime only. It just happened to be, you know, the characters happened to be these, you know, horse girls. And I thought we would learn about horse racing uh, and taking care of horses. But that, that characters happened to be this way to appeal to otakus, right? Yep. Uh, and I watched it and I was 50% correct. I'd say at least fifty percent correct. The yeah. thing I did not count on was <laughs> that the, the reveal in the second half of the first episode is that the show like there's some perversion going on, which totally saw that coming. Well, yeah, we'll get back to that. <laughs> That's though, obvious. It's, That's it's, obvious. It's not the kind of perversion I expected, and no. it's arguably way worse. Yes, than what I expected. The thing I did not expect is that it would also be an idol show. I dad did not know that at all, but apparently the deal is. That when you if you win a horse race, then you go that horse girl gets to go on stage and perform at their idol song or whatever. Right? Which already and lets even, this show even to a the nice re, even the really quiet horse who's the fastest girl ends up going on stage and singing like st without any uh, cowardice at all. So on one hand, you can make this like meta narrative argument that the show is about the dehumanization of the idol, pr like the process of creating idols in modern pop uh, music production. Right, they compete and fight with each other in order for the chance to sing on yep. stage. They're commoditized. The reward they're given is just being more productive for the company that groomed them. Like you can make this whole argument, but no, I, it's just for otaku fan service. Yeah, this show is so people who want to see cute horse girls interacting in a semi moe, semi sports like half moe. There's one half horse. There's fighting. one horse girl for every different possible personality. So there's gonna be your favorite one. It's of the them. harem show where there's no self insert character. It's just the harem interacting with itself. Right. The plot is basically like the school has the elite horse racing team, and then there's the joke horse racing team, and of course the joke one is gonna eventually become the super one. Yeah. And the joke team is basically two joke girls. The main character. And the best horse racing girl who just who's like the champion who just quit the, the good team for some reason. And, you know, when the, the new girl is, oh, my God, she came from the, you know, the 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 what's it called? The sticks. And she took the train into the city, for Tokyo, for the first time, just like every other anime. And ever. she doesn't know how to and use she, the subway. She's the transfer student. And, oh, my God, now she's moved to the big city. She's a horse from the country. Right. Obvious main character. Um but the the main um, uh, what's it called? And hey, whatever. <laughs> what, protagonist? <laughs> no, the, the one, the super fast horse girl. Oh yeah, right? the the one who's like the number one most popular horse girl. Yeah, she's like all super quiet. And, this one. Yeah, right, and there's like a mystery of why. Silent she, Suzuka. Right. Why did she quit the super team to come to the joke team? There's right. probably a plot there. I'm There's not going to watch much more of this. No, so but when it, when the, the main character comes to the city for the first time, she randomly encounters some pervy dude. Right. So this is the part that bothers me. The show... I and then she kicks him in the face like a horse, and he doesn't die, though. Which, yeah, it looked like he did at first. Oh, she can run super fast because she's a horse, but yeah. she looks like a girl except for the tails and ear. Is well, so but we got to talk a little bit about the conceit of the show because the conceit of the show is... Our real life universe exists, and the souls of horses from our universe get transferred randomly, as far as we can tell, into pregnant women in this other mirror universe that is the same as our universe, except all horses are just horse girls. Uh, I thought that it was their mom fucked a horse. Yeah, didn't you watch the, the intro explains this? Uh, no, I did not. Yeah. <laughs> Souls of horses end up from our world, end up in this world. Like, that's it. They just get right past that. Oh, also, the, the all the horse characters have names that are similar to the kinds of names that racehorses have. From what in I saw, most the of them are world. actual names of racehorses from real Like, what's her name? Like, Special Week? Yeah, they're all real 
horses, which means I hope that Bofa D's Nuts is going to show up and be the real main character in like <laughs> that, season four. And Bofa D's Nuts should definitely, if Bofa D's Nuts appears in, in Uma Musume, let me know and I will start watching again. <laughs> now, it does a lot of cute things, right? Like when the girls use a phone, they like hold the earpiece up to their real ear and then they like bring it down to talk. Like it solved the problem of why is that cat girl holding a cell phone next to the side of her head instead of her ear. Mm. <laughs> but what bothers me and the, the main reason I'm not going to watch the rest of the show at all, other than the fact that it's kind of just dumb. Yeah. Is that. It wasn't perverted in the ways I expected. It wasn't just like that low key fan service you get from these high. I think there is some value. horses with big boobs or yeah, sexy legs or whatever. I kind of expected that to be the level of like creepy fan service, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. The creepy part was that we're introduced to this character who's an important recurring character who straight up assaults the main character. In episode one, mm -hmm. like multiple times. And that is already normalized in the show as, well, yeah, it's a horse girl. You got to like check out her whatever. Yeah, you got to grope her legs. Yeah. To see how strong she is. And then that, that person become is like the coach of the crappy team and somehow is obviously some sort of genius who's going to help them all win yeah. with his strategies. That yet, character should not still be in the show. And suddenly all the... But they totally trust him, even though he just groped them. Yeah, multiple times in the first episode. <laughs> like, the narrative around that character... And they don't resolve it in any way. It's nope. just like, well, we trust him now, I guess. He's our coach. He's going to help us win. If that scene in the first episode had instead been, he died when he was kicked and we never hear of that again, that would have been fine. <laughs> but the fact that he is an important character that has a relationship with all these girls... That alone is actually a reason to just not watch the show. As way creep. Like, I'm not going to watch any more of the show. I watched enough to be able to review it. It's lighthearted, generic anime, high production value. Look at all these girls that are acting in a school. There's also tons of, like, music because they, they sing whenever someone wins a race or yep. whatever. It's really well animated. Like, everything about it's beautiful. It's really colorful because yeah. it's, you know. I do appreciate, like, it is really, really colorful. And there's a lot of characters and... It's pretty typical anime, but I can't say that I recommend it to anyone to actually watch. If you're an otaku who likes idols and shit and doesn't mind uh, some, you know, all these girls getting groped by this dude and only, you know, only being mad once. Yep. Uh, like then, I don't. The fact that they just let that go and don't bring it up again, <laughs> not cool. Then you can watch this show if you're, you know, if you're the kind of otaku who will buy a body pillow unironically and have it in your bed. Then the show, yeah. is, the show is for you. Or if, I guess if you're on the <laughs> other side of the coin, you can just watch Monster Musume and get like an actual centaur. Yeah. Go full. Go all, if you're gonna go horse anyway, why not go all the way? Just have like a giant centaur. If they were centaurs, the show would be better. Cause then yeah. <laughs> well, then when she kicked that dude, he would have actually died, and that would have been the end of that stupid arc. If a horse kicks you, you will probably die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they do. There is a. I think that there is one nice scene where it's like she's at the train station and she's like one. She got off this train too early or late, like a station away from where she's supposed. Oh to yeah, go. And she's just like no, I'll just run. And she just runs to the next station faster than all the cars because she's a horse. That's one thing I do appreciate though. The show is very married to its core conceits and little, kind of like My Little Pony actually did this too. Very small details that relate to those things, like they are horses, they run, whatever, are appropriate and always right. Like the consistency of the treatment of those little world details is extreme to the point that the kanji for the word horse in the show is basically the real kanji for the word horse, except it removed like two of the legs. Mm. Like little details like that, I really appreciate when a show has this almost slavish consistency on these really dumb minor points. But otherwise, I don't think the show is actually worth watching, and I don't think anyone should really bother watching it. Yeah, if you want to watch a sports show, you can watch Yo Pedal, where the last episode that I saw, uh, basically they spent the it was they were fifty minutes from the finish line of the second day of a three day race, and at the end of the episode, they had still not crossed the finish line, but they had done flashbacks of the three characters who could possibly cross that finish line first. Yeah. I mean, Initial D, for all I love it, it's a bunch of non-race episodes and then an episode that's getting ready for the race. Well, the problem, in Initial D, you're racing a bunch of different people in separate races. In Yoa Pedal, it's pretty much... 
yeah, there's all these other races, but they only care about this inter-high race where every high school in Japan races against each other. Yeah. They, don't, they don't care about any other race. So it's pretty much there'll be a few episodes, like half a season of you know characters developing and setting up, and then the rest of the show for another season and a half is just the race, and then they do it again three times because high school is three years. Yep. 